Someone was asking, how do you control a door in the background while you're working in your notation program? So this is how I do it with Finale and Digital Performer. I also do it with Transcribe and Cubase sometimes. But when I'm orchestrating, Digital Performer is the program that we use to look at the composer's files. So here you can see a little orchestration I'm working on. And here is the Digital Performer file where we've loaded the file from the composer, the MIDI and the mix and the stems. I normally do this on two screens. I actually have three. One of them's for Digital Performer on the left. The one in the middle will be for Finale. And the one on the right is just for Slack and email and all of that sort of stuff. So anyway. You can see right now I have Finale active, but when I press this button here on the Contour Shuttle, we get playback in Digital Performer, but Finale has stayed active. So you can see um, Finale's there, it's still active. I can even put notes in, I can stop, and nothing changes in Finale, so it's not becoming inactive. How do I do that? So the Contour Shuttle is a USB device. And that means that the driver will always point to the active program. So in this case, Finale. So if we look at the Contour Shuttle driver, let me get to it here with the Finale settings. When I press that middle button, it sends an F13. That F13 is a key command and it's basically being sent from uh, to Finale. So I use Keyboard Maestro to listen to that and what it does is sends a space bar which will start or stop playback to Digital Performer in the background. So F13 is heard by Keyboard Maestro and it sends a space bar to DP in the background. That's the easy bit. To do the scrolling, that's a little more tricky. You can do the same trick with sending a, a key command and having it send the key command in the background, but it doesn't like it when you keep sending it when you want to scroll a lot. So to get around that, I use MIDI because Digital Performer can have a key command can be either a key or a MIDI event. So I exploit that and the MIDI works in the background. So when I want to scroll, so here I am and I'm scrolling, see I'm just moving these, this ring here and we jump around and play. When I'm doing that, so let's say I'm scrolling right, what that does is here it sends control option and period. And if I scroll left, it's control option and the um, comma, which are the key commands in DP, but doesn't go direct. It actually gets interpreted or intercepted by Keyboard Maestro and it sends this MIDI note. Now in the commands for Digital Performer, you can set up, so here's those keys but here's the MIDI note coming from Keyboard Maestro. And so that's how you do it. So it's always listening. So if I'm in Digital Performer, it's just sending the normal key command. See, you can tell it's a little snappier, um, but that's just how it works when it's going direct. But if I'm in Finale, it'll still scroll and it works pretty good. You go back. And like I said, normally this will be on another screen. So I don't even have to look at it most of the time. I can just go backwards and forwards a little bit. And I have this set to just jump a measure each time. And that is how you do it. So it goes from uh, finale, I do something here on the jog. That driver then sends a key command that is interpreted by Keyboard Maestro that then sends something to Digital Performer in the background. And if I switch programs, you can see I'm flicking between the two and it's still scrolling around. And it works pretty good. And so that's how you do it. Good luck trying to do it yourself.